So you've got an NVIDIA card, and you just unboxed it and you're ready to use it, but wait, there's one thing you should definitely check before you do anything else. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So first, you're going to want to make sure that you have NVIDIA drivers installed, and once you do so, you should be able to right-click the desktop and go over to NVIDIA Control Panel. Once it opens up, the next thing you should do is head over to Adjust Video Color Settings. Now, if any of these settings I talk about aren't here, just try and reinstall a driver and they should appear. If you're using a laptop, there is a chance that it won't work. But on desktops, this will definitely work. So once you click on Adjust Video Color Settings, click on With NVIDIA Settings instead of the default With Video Player Settings. Once you've done so, hover over Advanced, click it, and change it from Limited to Full. Now what this does is it enables your display to use the graphics card's full color range, which is 0 to 255 for blacks and whites, and therefore you should get a slightly more accurate picture on your screen. But once you've done that, we're not quite done yet. So head over to Change Resolution next, and then from here you're going to want to scroll down and change it from Limited to Full, and then hit apply. Now, if you didn't hit apply in the last step, make sure you do that as well. Sorry, I didn't mention that. But once you've hit apply on both of these settings, you should be good to go and getting the full color range so you don't see any sort of banding. Now, it might be that this was just configured out of the box for you, but it looks like Nvidia does this because some people tend to hook up their video card to a TV and not all TVs even display the full range. So that's why it does it right out of the box.